Hi, this is John Eccles, and I am the state representative for House District 90. I serve as the House Majority Floor Leader, and welcome to This Week in Your House. We had a very productive week this week. This is a, the week before deadline week. Deadline week is next week. What that means is all, bill, all Senate bills have to be off the House floor by the end of next week, or they're no longer alive for this session. The big deal this week is we started JCAB bills. Well, what's JCAB? It's the Joint Committee on Appropriation and Budgeting. Last Monday, we heard JCAP bills, which were some revenue measures to help fix the budget on the floor. This Monday, we've already announced we'll be hearing more JCAP bills, and I think you can expect me to schedule JCAP bills on the floor every week. And the, those Joint Commission on Budget bills, those bills that help fix the budget deficit, they're going to be going every week. We had a very busy week this week on the House floor, in addition to policy, but we have to spend some time talking about the Murrah bombing. This was the 22nd anniversary of the Murrah bombing that rocked Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, but the entire state of Oklahoma and really gripped a nation to its core. Everyone remembers, if you're in Oklahoma, and where you were when that bomb went off in 1995. If you haven't been to the bombing memorial, I strongly suggest you go. I've taken my children there. It's appropriate for children, but it's powerful. It is a witness and a testimony of who we are as Oklahomans. On the House floor this week, we gave a tribute to our, our fallen friend, State Representative David Brumbaugh, our Republican caucus chair. He passed away of natural causes on Saturday at the age of 56. On Monday, we had a moment of silence and we let two members speak on his behalf. It was an emotional time. Uh, David was a, was a great man, was a true servant leader, held office with a strongness of conviction, but a gentleness of spirit. He went about the people's business seriously. That's what we're committed to do in the state of Oklahoma and the, in the people's house. Next week, I'll be able to give you a much better picture of where the state budget looks like. Uh, a full month in advance of, in, of the end of session. We're not doing this in a hurry. We're not doing this in a rush. We're not doing it at the end of session where we throw something out there and force members to vote for it. It's methodical. It's early. We're getting the job done. And we are going to put a bill on the board that is going to fund state government and fund a teacher pay raise. And I hope like our late friend, Representative Brumbaugh, we can find a way to settle our difference while maybe disagreeing, but not being disagreeable and willing to cast the hard votes that are right for the citizens of the state of Oklahoma. Thank you so much for joining me for this week in your house. See you next week.